as the Trump uh, cabinet is taking shape, at least the one that he would like to be coming in with him in this new term, he is picking, he has said, Congressman Matt Gates as attorney general. This is perhaps his most controversial pick of all of those that we have seen announced or reported so far. And joining us now is a Democratic colleague of Matt Gates's, Congressman Jared Moskowitz from Florida, as is Matt Gates. Um, just your reaction to this. I mean, this news just broke. It's out on Trump's Truth Social. Is the Hill abuzz with the news? Is your phone blowing up over this? Give us a sense of, of what's going on. Well, yeah, I mean, look, th this is what the American people voted for, right? I mean, you know, Trump was not, he was not shy about what he wanted to do in this country. And, you know, in Matt Gates, he's not only going to get someone who's fiercely loyal, but fiercely competent. Matt Gates knows exactly what to do with the attorney general's office. He will, he will turn that in to be most powerful attorney general in American history. I know Matt well. We served together in the legislature in, in Florida. In fact, Matt was the one who... Uh, was part of the transition team of Ron DeSantis, who helped get me appointed as the uh, director of emergency management in the state of Florida. And so, you know, Trump was very clear on what he wanted to do with government. And, and in Matt Gates, he is going to get a very competent, uh, very powerful attorney general. So what do you think he is going to do as AG, if confirmed? Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I mean, obviously, he's got a boss in Donald Trump. Uh, but anyone thinking that Donald Trump was just ready to move forward, uh, that is clearly, uh, clearly not the case. Uh, and so, you know, at the end of the day, this is what happens. Elections have consequences. Uh, you know, we talked about this during the election. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, Matt, Matt was a former prosecutor or, sorry, former attorney in, in private practice. Uh, he is a fierce Donald Trump loyalist. Matt has prosecuted the case in Congress. Uh, for Donald Trump uh, for years, and now he's going to get to do that on behalf of the American people if he gets confirmed. I've heard from some of your Democratic colleagues in the House who are concerned, uh, this was before Matt Gates was the pick, that a Trump DOJ might target them, that they could be investigated. Do you think that that is going to be part of Gates's repertoire? Is he going to be settling scores? Well, I don't know. I don't want to speak for Matt or speak for the Trump administration, but I'm pretty sure they're not just going to go happen. around. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure with this pick, they're not just going to go around and shut down puppy mills. All right, this is this is a very serious pick, uh, and Donald Trump is obviously telegraphing that he means business. Uh, Matt Gates is one of his best weapons in Congress. He's taking him out of Congress and he's giving him the Attorney General's office. Uh, and so again, I've known Matt for 10 years. Uh, you know, Matt is very good at what Matt does in Congress, and now he's going to bring that to the attorney general's office. And so I don't want to get ahead of what their plans are, but Donald Trump is very clear on what he plans to do uh, with DOJ by giving it to Matt Gates. You uh, are on the Foreign Affairs Committee, and you obviously have an eye on those issues. When you look at some of the picks, uh, we now also another controversial pick uh, is Pete Hegseth who does not have government experience, a uh, former Fox News host and a veteran, who is the pick for DOD, Tulsi Gabbard for Department, uh, or pardon me, for Director of National Intelligence. Uh, what is the most concerning? Um, what are the most comforting picks for you when it comes to the issue of national security or foreign relations? Well, look, I, I think the meeting of all these people is going to be fascinating and problematic. I mean, you got Marco Rubio and Mike Waltz. Those folks are very serious uh, uh, about policy and protecting America, uh, are tough on Iran, tough on China, tough on Russia. Uh, and then in the DOD picks and in, in intelligence, you have folks kind of on the opposite side of that. Uh, and so, you know, I think it's going to be fascinating to watch the power struggle, the power balance between all of these folks. But we're also acting like everyone's going to get through Senate confirmation. Uh, and we'll have to see which ones do and which ones don't. Uh, some of these folks are clearly more qualified. Mike Waltz, Marco Rubio, clearly more qualified for these positions uh, than the other folks. Uh, but again, Donald Trump told everybody what he wanted to do. This is not a secret. And so the fact that this is now playing out in real time, uh, elections have consequences. Congressman Jared Moskowitz, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it.